Yes, in this video, let us look at the differences between hyperopia and presbyopia. So, first of all, you understand that uh, hyperopia is a refractive error. The problem is the refraction. In presbyopia, the problem is the accommodation. Okay. Look at the definition of hypermetropia. When the accommodation is at rest, okay, so the lens is um, flat, okay, the accommodation is at rest. Any parallel ray, that is even a distant object if it is coming, it will be focused behind the retina only. So, this person, though they say it is long sight, it is actually not long sight. He is only accommodating to see the uh, object at far. If the accommodation is at rest, if the accommodation is at rest, the image will be formed at the back. Even hypermetropia, it is not long sight, though it is called long sight. He is going to only use his accommodation to see the object, which is far. Let us say I do not have hypermetropia. So, what is happening for me when my accommodation is at rest, parallel rays also focus on my retina. So, I am absolutely fine. Okay. But in a hypermetropic eye, if when the accommodation is at rest, even parallel rays from far fall where? Behind the retina. Right. This is what the problem is. Right. Even when accommodation is at rest. Then how come he is able to see far and why is it called far sight? Because when he applies some accommodation, it might come onto the retina. Okay. So, basically what you should understand here is in hyperopia, he can see far, okay, far things by using accommodation. Okay. By using accommodation, he can try to see the far things. And all that, if it is up to 1 diopter, if the deficiency is up to 1 diopter, he can see via using accommodation. Okay. So, let us look at the causes. For hyperopia, what are the causes? For hyperopia, the causes are, we have already seen, axial length of the eye is less. There could be retinal detachment. So, the retina has come forward, right? Or there could be flat lens or flat cornea, right? Or the refractive index of the, refractive index of the lens could be less. Okay. So, did you understand this? Let us go back here to hypermetropia. So, see basically what is happening. Why is the image fall behind? The image is going behind because probably this person's eyeball itself is really small length. Axial length is small or probably retina got detached and retina has come in front. Or probably the lens are way too flat and the cornea are way too flat and they are not bending the rays. So, these are the causes for hypermetropia. Okay. So, these are the causes. Some more causes are there. Okay. Like aphakia or uh, that is absence of the lens itself or position of the lens is not proper. Right. All those things are there. So, you can look at uh, details of hyperopia in that video. Now, let us move on to presbyopia. So, presbyopia is accommodative error and it comes with age. Why? Let us look at this now. See, in a normal person, what happens whenever he is trying to look at a near object, right? Whenever he is trying to look at a near object, the lens becomes more curved, right? And it tries to converge the rays onto the retina. So, this is accommodation. This is normal. Now, when age progresses, what happens? The lens has grown. And the muscles have become weaker, so the lens cannot accommodate and hence it is not able to converge and the rays go behind the retina. So, near object looks blur, that is presbyopia after 40 years. So, what do you say here? Presbyopia after 40 years. So, what the what is the problem? Lens is bulky or can we use that word? Lens is big and muscles, ciliary muscles. which help in accommodation are weak. Okay. So, that is presbyopia. So, in presbyopia, remember that person cannot read, especially the persons complaining will be reading. He will not be able to read. So, they will prescribe reading glasses. In both of these conditions, the image is forming where? Behind the retina. That is a similarity. Guys, did you understand in both of these, the image is behind the retina? Okay. 
actually small correction image from near object is behind retina for press biopia okay and interestingly the hyperopia guys is guys using accommodation to see far object usually accommodation for what do you use to see the near object so in both of these cases the correction is with convex lens that is positive power we're trying to help converge the image exactly onto the retina so look at this so they have put a convex lens so what is this convex lens with positive power going to do it is going to converge so instead of falling here the image instead of falling here it will converge better and converge more right it will bend more and it will converge right onto the retina so positive power now you see this uh, presbyopic guy when does he need to wear this uh, specs he needs to wear the specs only to read right what about this hyperopia guy hyperopia guy may need to wear the specs at all times right or for a presbyopic guy they give this kind of a, a bifocal specs where only here for near vision they have given the power for distance vision they have just given a plain glass or if there is any need for distant correction also they will give that look at presbyopia again the cause is what age don't forget that okay so after 40 years lens is less elastic decreased elasticity of lens capsule lens capsule is less elastic then what else they are saying there is increase in the size and hardness sclerosis of lens okay sclerosis size also and sclerosis of lens okay and then decline in ciliary muscle power there's another uh, interesting thing here that if a hypermetropia is uncorrected okay then this person will try to accommodate so much because he's using accommodation right he'll accom try to accommodate 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 accommodation itself will fail and he might enter premature presbyopia okay or presbyopia can happen because of lot of other things because somebody's lens got sclerosed early for some other reason or uh, this person has weakness of ciliary muscles for some other reason or this guy has a chronic glaucoma right chronic simple glaucoma can lead to presbyopia so all those are also other causes these those will become the premature presbyopic presbyopia premature presbyopia causes now look at this rough guide for providing presbyopic glasses okay 45 years around plus 1 50 around 1.5 55 around 2 60 2.5 so by uh, with age it is increasing this is a rough guide main thing you should understand here is only near vision is affected in presbyopia okay only near vision affected where in presbyopia this is the most important thing usually as it is because of age they will also say this is a physiologic condition so is this clear so let's just take a recap we wanted to look at uh, in this video what the difference between hyperopia and presbyopia is so basically hyperopia is a refractive error where the rays are not bending enough so what they will do they will go and meet farther away than the retina in presbyopia it's an accommodative error again the rays are not bending enough why but but the cause is the lens the accommodation is the reason and here also the image forms behind the retina but that is only for the near objects okay causes for hyperopia the eye itself will be small so the rays are going farther beyond or there is a flat lens or a flat cornea or uh, aphakia refractive index is less retinal detachment etc now for presbyopia the cause is age after 40 years the lens capsule is less elastic there is increased size of the lens because the lens keeps on growing right and there is sclerosis of the lens so it is not very flexible and the ciliary muscles are weak so where is the image being formed in hyperopia image is formed behind the retina this is perfect this is always you have to say image is formed behind the retina accommodation is at rest okay so if you for uh, doing hyperopia to check hyperopia you have to give the person cycloplegic so that you will 
uh, stop the accommodation only after that you will do a hyperopia check to check hyperopia you have to give a cycloplegic like a cyclopentylate etc to stop the accommodation otherwise he is going to accommodate and he can see so here the point will be use cycloplegic to diagnose because you have to make sure that he doesn't use his accommodation to say that he is able to see okay now coming to press biopia image from near object is behind the retina otherwise far vision no problem only near vision is affected in press biopia so both of them you will correct with what you will correct both of them with convex lenses itself and um, this guy hyperopia will have to wear the specs almost always and press biopia he needs it only for reading so that will become reading glasses okay so press biopia with age he cannot see what is near him that is the main thing you have to understand press biopia okay accommodative error that's all for now guys in this video hope you have understood this concept bye bye guys in hypermetropic i have you understood why he is able to see the far because he is going to use accommodation make it uh, more uh, curved and he is going to help it focus on the retina so that is how he is able to see the far but near how near rays comes if there is a near object actually the rays come like this they need to be bent even more okay so that is why near he cannot manage with accommodation far he can somehow manage little with accommodation but near he will not be able to manage because the near rays will be like this they won't be parallel right so he will have to converge more and more which is not possible by the accommodation also so i think it is safe to say that image is always behind the retina right whether it is far or near but far object he can somehow manage using accommodation up to one diopter or around that okay so that is that will be something called as latent hypermetropia man, uh, manifest in which it is called as facultative hypermetropia which he can somehow manage with accommodation so this guy is doing what he will try to accommodate and see what does this press biopic guy do to compensate he will try to keep it far he will try, try to keep the newspaper or the mobile far to see it okay because near if he keeps he cannot see so that point we have added here tries to keep the newspaper far to read right so these are the differences between hyperopia and press biopia